trees snapping like toothpicks in central Iowa tonight. Sheets of rain swallowing decks and pools. The severe storms leaving wreckage like this for many Iowans. So many at home because of the pandemic watching the storms move through. Now the time to pick up what's left begins for so many. We have team coverage of the storm damage. Brandon Lawrence and Chief Meteorologist Brad Edwards uh, are both live right now. Brandon, let's start with you though. In Ankeny, I can hear the chainsaws going and you've got an eye on some home damage there. That's right, the damage across central Iowa extensive today. That's the only way to describe it from the minute we were on the air this morning tracking the storms all the way to now the cleanup process. This is one of the homes that I've seen that was the hardest hit in the Ankeny area. You actually hear crews that are out here doing work. There's a car that's completely damaged here. The tree that was clearly on the roof of this home. This is in a neighborhood right off of uh, State Street in Ankeny, just near the John Deere plant. It's basically where State Street and Ordnance Road meet. And we have seen just tremendous damage from here, from all over central Iowa. It has been really, really tough to see. This is actually what we call a derecho that pulled through today. Brad will talk more about that later on, but a very powerful windstorm impacting us here in central Iowa. Now, it wasn't just this home where I'm standing in Ankeny, but it was dozens and dozens of homes across Ankeny that have had tremendous amounts of damage. Trees on roofs, on cars, debris in the streets. We talked with a couple of homeowners here in Ankeny about what exactly happened as these storms pulled through. I went out here. My car was parked right here originally and I moved into the garage just so like no trees would fall on it. And right when I got in the garage, I poured it in the garage. Uh, that's when all the wind started. It was blowing my doors open. I had to shut all the doors and yeah. Clearly just so tough and this was just one area of the metro that got hit so bad. It was also over in Windsor Heights in Urbandale where the Des Moines Buccaneers Arena actually had substantial roof damage. We're talking shingles, debris everywhere off the roof and in the parking lot. And the other aspect of this is that the heavy rain at this point was so rough. I worry that there was a lot of damage on the inside of the arena as well because of the heavy rainfall, the water that would have been coming in. So obviously you're going to see pictures and videos from all over central Iowa, really all over our state of the damage thanks to this derecho that pulled through our team on the ground and just tough stories here to cover. Thankfully, as I have been able to see, no injuries, no fatalities today, and that is absolutely a remarkable thing. We're live in Ankeny tonight. I'm Brandon Lawrence, Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Brandon, thank you. So hard to see all of that damage, but again, thankful that we have not heard of injuries yet. Well, our crews also went to went to Woodward as city officials there are picking up debris from homes and stores. Local 5's Rachel Droz was out there during the large cleanup, but she had to drive back to West Des Moines to get better service. So Rachel, uh, what did you see when you were in Woodward? lot of damage up there so much so that as you mentioned we had to drive back here to West Des Moines where of course you can see there is damage here of its own but just to our live shot we have to come back here to get set up but take a look at this roads blocked tree limbs down surrounding cars and the community coming together picking up the damage the storm left behind now I spoke with one woman who's actually in town visiting her mom from down south she was outside in the vegetable garden when all of a sudden the sky got dark she rushed inside right as the wind picked up and the power went out. My mom saw her um, gutter go flying past the window and we decided it was time to get in the basement. <laughs> yeah, so we stayed down there until it was over and yeah, it's, I've, I don't think I've ever seen damage like this before in a storm. Now outside of Woodward, fields of corn knocked down. It really was quite shocking to see. The Woodward police chief tells me there aren't injuries reported in Woodward, but surrounding it, Boone County officials did report minor injuries after semis rolled over on the highway. No fatalities though, nothing serious reported at this point, but there is a lot of cleanup left to do out there. The one main thing that police are asking, if you don't have a reason to be in one of these areas with a lot of damage, don't go. Let the people
will do their work there to get things cleaned up so that we can get back to normal after this storm. For now, reporting live in West Des Moines, Rachel Groves, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. All right, Rachel, thank you. And viewers are sending in videos of damage that they see. This is Jennifer Pickering in Perry. She walked us through her home on a Zoom video call. You can see a piece of wood went clear through her home and smashed right into the wall. Some other things inside the house were thrown around during the storm as well. It, like he went and closed the door and all of a sudden, bam, 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 as his wife is still in bed in that room where we were just were. Um, so I hurry up and I push the door back open and there's this giant board just sticking out of the wall. Like it was just a loud bang. Like I, I wasn't even sure what it was. I could say that we had to get his wife out of bed. And mm -hmm. just, just that couple seconds, all the boards were just through the wall. I mean, those, all those boards were all at the same time. They all just shot right through like bullets. At least 600 Des Moines residents have called the city asking for help with downed tree limbs and damage to their homes. This is Madison and 2nd Avenue in Des Moines. At least 150 crew members with the city are out clearing off the main streets, much like they do when there is a big snowstorm. The head of Public Works tells us people do need to be patient. I'd like to think that we'll be completely done with pushing the roadways open by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, and, and there may be some select cases where that's not completely true, but by and large, uh, we'll have full mobility restored uh, to everybody in every corner of town uh, by the end of tomorrow. Uh, this is a pretty widespread event. It, it, unlike a usual summer storm where one pocket of town or one neighborhood might get harder hit, this looks pretty, pretty, to be pretty evenly distributed across the whole metro area. And we have some more images to show you from around Des Moines. This is near 42nd and Ingersoll. A lot of old trees there and a big tree down there. Look at the tree trunk there just split into two tree limbs and leaves scattered everywhere. Now, if you have a tree concern you need to report, you can call the number on your screen or submit a report through the My DSM mobile app. And let's move over to Windsor Heights near Colby Park. Tree limbs down there covering the road and blocking traffic for a while. And then take a look at this video. Jody Cordell sent it in from Altoona. Trees and branches and leaves all over. A Skylar Eakin sent this in from West Des Moines. Her deck damaged trees everywhere on cars. Very dramatic footage from people all over central Iowa. And we want to show you again that footage from the Urbandale, uh, from Urbandale of a tree crashing down. Well, that's what a lot of people experience today. Trees cracking and crashing into homes and shutting down roads. And more than 131,000 residents in the Des Moines metro area are without power right now. Many of those folks are working from home because of the pandemic. Mid-American Energy says they have crew members working around the clock to restore that power. We're hearing from some residents that they can't even get through to report that they are without power right now. It's so busy. Uh, many parks and other businesses are closed as a result of the storm. Grays Lake Park in Des Moines is shut down to the public for the time being. Otter Creek Golf Course in Ankeny is closed after the storm. It'll be shut down for the remainder of the day as crews clean up debris on the course. Now, the storm moved east after it pummeled the metro area and it hit hard out there too. This was sent in to us by a viewer. Look at the cones toppled over by the wind and the test Iowa tents and trucks. Thankfully, we are hearing no one was hurt in this as well. well. Chief Meteorologist Brad Edwards has been tracking the aftermath of this storm. Brad. I'll tell you what, it was a big one. It's probably the biggest storm I've seen, uh, Stephanie, as we've gone through uh, this year for sure and maybe going back to 10, 20 years. I mean, we haven't seen a storm hit central Iowa this hard. I don't know, ever, maybe. It was like a hurricane went through, basically. It took five hours to get from one side of the state to the other. It was going 50 to 60 miles per hour, just like a vehicle there roaring through the state and it's already pushed through Chicago so it's continuing to push through and that's what we call a derecho it's a long lived straight wind event and a severe one in, at this case you can see all the wind reports and all the damage reports mostly here through central Iowa I think the worst of it was right there between say I-80 and Highway 30 at least these two corridors here is where we had most of our wind damage and some of the highest wind gusts in Marshalltown and just east of Marshalltown in Legram, we had a wind gust of 
106 miles per hour. So that's up around like uh, F2 tornado. I mean, we're talking a pretty strong system here, F1 tornado, and we've got a wind gust at the airport of 75 miles per hour. So this was a very severe wind event. Things are quieting down now. Some of the stations have actually been knocked offline. Ames, Marshalltown, Ottumwa, not even working anymore after the storm, but we've got uh, some mild weather now. It's going to be quiet tomorrow. We don't have to worry about anything. We will have a chance of thunderstorms Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, Saturday, but they don't look severe. I'll talk more about the forecast and more about the duration coming up. Brad, thank you. And Central Iowans have been sending us pictures from all over. This is a pool absolutely leveled by the storm. Shingles torn down in Ankeny from a home there. And from Logan Cornwell, a trampoline blew out in front of him on the road in Grimes. 